Hi, this is Shea Veronica. Last night on Linda Moulton Howe, this was one of her better shows, you know, bar none. It was very, very good. She talked about Bill Thompson. He was selected. He wrote books claiming that he was selected by extra terrestrials. He was selected by ETs. He is a guy who has or had, he, he has since died. He had a photogenic memory and he claims that Hitler, Germany, Hitler was working with ETs and World War II was an extraterrestrial war, but it was fought through human bodies. Are you hearing me? It was an E.T. war fought through human bodies. He claims that the moon is not our moon. It's occupied by E.T.s and there are reptilian naval battle groups and different phases of, of incursions happening to bring a plan that the ETs have to fruition. They want to occupy all of the known planets or habitable planets in this system. Like I said, it was a very interesting show last night. He says that the Nordic people, and you do know the Nordic people, he says that there are many, many ETs who are Nordic people. And that I had to like rewind because I heard it last night and I I waited for it to finish and I went back. And he said it, he said that there are many ETs. They can cloak themselves to to look like white, blue eye, white hair, blonde people, blonde, blue eyed people. And he said, and she was repeating that ETs, are on the earth hundreds of different types are on the earth and they are cloaked to look like nordic people people who live in the nordic civilization okay the blonde and the the blonde and the blonde aliens and the reptiles they work together and then there's a certain fraction of blondes who work with humans to defeat what is happening overall overall what linda moulton howe said last night in her show was earth is a lab earth is a laboratory where they come and they get genetic material or it could be a supermarket we could be food we could be food or they could be picking up genetic material but we on the earth are being used the moon is not our moon it just watches us it stays in one it doesn't rotate it stays and it the face of it is a satellite that watches what is going on here on the earth it was very interesting i would invite you listen to this one go to linda moulton house um show um podcast and her show is called earth files on youtube i would actually recommend that you listen to the show that um she did last night and he says that we are dealing with thousands thousands of et species thousands of et species and how our planet has been a lab for thousands of years not nothing new no, thousands of years our pla- our planet here that we call the earth has been a lab for extraterrestrials okay everything that we know is a lie all of earth's history is a lie the bible was given to earthlings by reptilians it was written and given to us by reptilians everything we know is a lie listen to the linda moulton howe show it was exceedingly it was exceedingly entertaining last night and like i said it spoke of et races the ones who live on the moon 
the ones who live here on the earth, what their plans are, and how the United States um, got involved because they were given Germany the ETs, the extraterrestrials were given ET were given Germans all the spaceships. They were telling them how to use the spaceships to travel in space. They were giving them all the if all the technology, all the technology they needed to be in space and to conquer or to to um live to live on other planets out there the ETs and the Germans were working together hand in hand they wanted to get rid of the Jewish set of people and they wanted the earth to be white and blonde that's what that was the plan the plan was to have the earth occupied by blonde blue-eyed people white people but um, like I said, the Americans got involved. There was something called paperclip where the Americans took the bright people out of Germany and they came over to America to work with the Americans. So the, the World War II was not a failure. They put it in the history books as though World War II was a failure, but they didn't fail. Whatever they wanted to do at that time was accomplished. And even when they talk about Antarctica, where there are spaceships buried in the snow and there is a alien, a ET group of people living in Antarctica. And shit. That show, Linda Moulton House show last night was the bomb. It was really, really good. But suffice to say, our moon is not our moon. It's a satellite that watches what goes on here on Earth. And Earth is a lab for genetic material. Gen like sometimes they come down and they, they could take an animal. They can take humans. Millions, millions, millions of humans go missing from the Earth. And we could be used as slaves on other planets. It was the bomb. Um... This is not a matter of whether you believe or not. It doesn't. It, it, it's be, it's beyond that at this point. It's not a matter of belief. No one give a shit what you believe. Oh, I don't believe that. I don't believe. It doesn't matter what you believe. Truth is truth, and it's going to be hard to stomach. It's going to be hard to stomach that you are not what you think you are. You. Talk about love and getting together with a man to make babies and all of that could be programmed. When you go out, it was a thought put in your head. When you met someone that you like, that was a thought put in your head. Everything is mixed and matched. Everything is controlled. Everything is a program. You having kids with a particular person is a program. Nothing you do, nothing you do is on your own will. You, you are, you are controlled you are controlled and like i said no one gives a hell of what, no one really cares no one cares what you believe and what you think is true or not true but you live you, everything you are experiencing here on the earth is a lie is a lie that is what you're gonna get when you listen to bill Tompkins. he wrote two books Selected by ETs, selected by ETs, volume one and two. If you listen to the people who were in those rooms, who were underground meeting with these extra people that were living extra places outside of Earth or on the outskirts of Earth or underneath the Earth, underneath the sea, above us in ships that you cannot see, our eyes, our eyes pick up just a, 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 a little bit, a fraction of what is happening around us. We see we are moving through our experience here on Earth blind. We are blind. We don't see what's around us. So when you listen to Linda Moulton Howe, and if you even read just a few paragraphs of Selected by ETs or anything of that particular genre, you would um, come to realize that there's more to, there's more to what is happening here that meets the eye. No one cares at this point. No one cares what you believe. In fact, having the belief system is a sign of 
you have to check yourself when you say that you believe something and something is not true. Anything you can think of is true. Anything you can think about is true. It's just a matter of your eyes being open to actually see it happening all around you. Or maybe someone plucks you up and take you to a different planet. And what you've always thought was a dream was actually true, but happening somewhere else. Nothing, nothing can be discounted. And you should try to, you know, manage manage your belief systems okay because no one really gives a hoot no one i, I want to say a, a, a more stronger word but i'm holding myself back no one really cares what you believe no one cares what you believe because truth truth is going to be stranger than fiction and you know linda moulton howe last night it was a good show this is Sheriff veronica